We didn't just want to win. We wanted to dominate. In the first half, we weren't dominant. In the second half, we got it together, and uh, we began to dominate. But we wanted to really impose our will because the whole theme of the week was just personal. Yeah, the CU Buffs didn't want to take the Needle Brown from New Jack City approach to their game with Nebraska this week. Instead of it always business and it's never personal, it was personal for the Sanders family this week when it came to Nebraska. Ralphie running onto the field for the first time this season. Coach Prime making his debut in Boulder's friends came out to support him. Former Broncos great Shannon Sharp. Stephen A. Smith was in the house and the playmaker, Michael Ir Irving. The defense, they came to play today. Jeff Sims having trouble with the snap. Jordan Dominic gets his mitts on the football. It would lead to a field goal. Then we have some seven on seven crime. Sims, his pass picked by Cameron Silmon Craig, number seven for the Buffs. And the Buffs would capitalize off the turnover. Shador Sanders up top to Tarvish Dawson Jr. And just like that, the Buffs were up 10-0. Start of the second half. Coach Prime giving us some Shador, some instructions. Sanders going to go down the field to the X Factor. Xavier Weaver, big game for him. 170 yards, 10 catches, and a TD. The Buffalo's defense swarming into the ball today. The men of Corn couldn't get much going offensively. Jawan Mitchell finishing off the ball carrier there. Remember last week, a little dynamo, Dylan Edwards with the ball. Man, can this young man scoot. Picks up a first down there, the Cornhuskers. They just had trouble holding on to the piggy today. Falls on the carpet right into the arms of Bishop Thomas. Four turnovers on the day for Nebraska. Buff's not done. Dawson uses athleticism, the end around. And he's got some blocks a well executed play six more for the buffs they were rolling in the final quarter more from Shador Sanders looks downfield nobody's open he's gonna take it in himself and then pays homage to his dad does the old primetime shuffle the buffs improved to 2-0 on the season as they win in convincing fashion, 36 to 14. The fans rush the field at Folsom after the game. Shador did not mince words about Nebraska head coach Matt Rule after the game. He was not happy about some of the things Rule said indirectly about his father in the offseason. The coach said a lot of things about my pops, about the program, but now that he want to act nice, I don't, res I, don't, I don't respect that because you hating on another man, you shouldn't do that. So. It was just all respect was gone for them in their program. One of the funniest moments in the darn game after Shador took his helmet off after he made the tremendous scramble. It was like a Heisman type play. And I went over and said, you cannot do that. You cannot take your helmet off. He said, dad, it's personal. <laughs> and I just laughed, I just <laughs> bent over and laughed my butt off because it was in the moment and I was really upset. And he broke, he, he broke the monotony up with it's personal.